Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Courtney Elan if you're new here and today I'm going to be doing finally the fourth episode of my crow chat series. If you've been following me for maybe six months now, I started this crow chat series back in January where every month I would sit down and film a video where I just do my hair and talk to you. I say every month very loosely because after March I stopped doing them. Just because I had nothing to talk about, I didn't know what to talk about at all. I did one of my 2018 goals, no 2018 recap and 2019 goals, how I balance school, YouTube and life and the tea on being a natural hair YouTuber. So if you haven't seen those, check them out. Today I'm going to be doing a crowd chat on my summer 2019 goals and plans because I have a whole spreadsheet. If you haven't seen my vlog, check it out. But I have a whole spreadsheet of like, things I want to do this summer, goals I want to achieve, all that fun stuff. But anyway, I shampooed and deep conditioned my hair and it's feeling so good. I feel that my Primal Beauty shampoo has been so moisturizing that it's making my hair feel over moisturized and it was feeling sticky and stuff like that. So I decided to go in with one of the most stripping shampoos I have. This is the OGS anti breakage keratin oil shampoo and weirdly enough it didn't strip my hair today. Every other time that I've used it, it stripped my hair so bad. I used it twice before and I was like, yeah, no. But it actually worked really well today. And the smell is amazing. I never noticed it before. I'm using the Primal Beauty Hydrating Leave-In Conditioner and the Strands of Faith Piston Butter. I love this stuff a lot. Let me get my spreadsheet open so I can start talking. Talking. I have my goals broken down into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um sections. I have content creation, organization, health, self-care, self-development, faith, and outings. Okay, I'm going to start with the content creation goals. I have a couple of them and the first one is to upload three times a week and I've already started this although I'm technically not on summer vacation. <gasps> The day this video goes up, I'm going to be on summer vacation. I strategically scheduled it to go up on the 13th, which is the day of my last exam. So on this day, I am already chilling. But yeah, I completely forgot about that, but I was planning to mention that in the intro. But anyway, yeah, I want to upload three times weekly. And it's actually a lot easier to find video ideas than I expected. Especially now that I've been vlogging more, so it's a lot easier to just film a weekly vlog. And that's one video for the week. And then a hair tutorial and then some of the random video and y'all seem to be loving my content recently so thank you so much for all those who watch and comment and share well, i don't see people sharing but people that like and comment and subscribe all that fun stuff thank you so so much for doing all that it means a lot it really does so let me know what content y'all want to see i plan to do more vlogs anytime i put a poll on instagram asking for content and stuff like that half y'all say vlogs so i think y'all really like them and even from the two productive vlogs that i've put up so far y'all really like those and spoiler alert the next video you're gonna see from me is gonna be a vlog so i'm really excited about that i've been loving vlogging recently because i don't know i look back at my vlogs and see oh that's what i was doing on that day like it's so so inspirational for me so yeah the content that i have planned isn't like primarily hair tutorials, I have hair videos planned and stuff like that, but it's not just hair tutorials. So if you like content that's not necessarily a tutorial and a style or something, look out, cause I got you. But also if you like my hair content, also look out, cause I also got you. I just want to cater to everybody and also, well not everybody, but the people that I want to watch my videos. My avatar, I really want to cater to that person. I've always wanted to branch out, but every professional in the influencer space says to niche down. So that's what I've been doing. But then Brittany Hennessy, the girl, not the girl, the lady that wrote influencer, she recently posted on her, something on her Instagram, kind of validating why I felt the need to branch out. So yes, I'm gonna branch out and I'm really excited. Also, this is a little say note, but I shampooed my hair just now and came out into my bedroom to apply my leave-in conditioner so I can detangle and all that stuff in front of my mirror in my bedroom. It gave me a lot of extra details that aren't really relevant to the story. But I came out of the shower to apply my conditioner and then when I went back in to rinse it out, I almost fell down in the shower. And my life flashed before my eyes. I stepped into the shower and I slid. And my life just flashed before my eyes. Everything I've ever done came back to me. I was so scared, but I didn't fall. Thank you, Jesus. But yeah, anyway, that's irrelevant. But yeah, three times a week, I expect to see new videos from me. Okay, sorry y'all, my phone just overheated and ran out of space at the same time. 
fun. I can't even tell you what I was talking about just now, but a long story short, yeah, I need to go and rewatch it for this because I really can't remember. Another goal in the content creation folder is to post on Instagram three times weekly because I want to start about being more consistent, especially during the summer. I stopped posting those hair videos for a couple months because I felt like no one liked them anymore. But then I did a poll on Instagram stories and then y'all apparently do like them, so I'm gonna try to do more of those, but at the same time, I don't like having more than one in a row. Like, I don't wanna have hair tutorial here, then hair tutorial here, then hair tutorial there, like, no. I wanna space them out, have pictures in between and stuff like that, and not hair pictures. I don't like when the feed is just like all selfies of your hair, like, I don't like that. So that's gonna force me to go up more this summer. The whole vlogging thing is also going to force me to go out more this summer because I'm not just going to vlog at my house. <laughs> three times a week, hopefully. Two minimum, but three times. That's the goal. Another goal of mine is to finish my new blog. And, I mean, technically it's finished, but technically it's not. I already posted one post on it and it's um, just an introduction about who I am, all that fun stuff. But I plan to post some good content up there. Brittany Hennessy also really inspired me to do that because uh, your blog, you own the blog. And if you have a newsletter or an email list or something, you own those emails. But with Instagram and YouTube, they can shut down now. And all your content will be gone. The whole audience that you built to showcase your content will be gone. So that has really inspired me to start my own blog. I started my blog in December of last year. But I don't like how it looks, so I'm gonna start a new one. Well, I started a new one. It's just CourtneyAlan.com and I'm gonna link it down below in case you wanna check it out. I'm not exactly sure what I plan to post on it. I have a couple of ideas, but I don't really have a niche as yet. But if you want to check it out, I definitely recommend that you do because hopefully some good blog posts are coming. I have some great ideas, so yeah, stay tuned. And I want to post on that blog every Monday when my summer actually starts, so I'm not counting right now as you right know when I'm filming this. My last goal in my content creation folder is to pitch a brand for a sponsorship. If y'all watch my channel update for summer 2018, that was last year, I mentioned that I had a brand sponsorship, like a paid one, and y'all were getting so excited. And then the company didn't reach back out to me. Like, they reached out to me, they sent the contract, they sent everything. And then when they found out I lived in Barbados, that's when I went downhill. So they never reached back out. I said I lived in Barbados and then that was the end of that conversation. So that sucked. Kind of unprofessional, but you know. So yeah, I want to pitch to brands, maybe smaller brands that may need more exposure. I know that I have a large Bajan following. So I don't want to pitch to brands that only sell their stuff online. But those are usually smaller brands. But then again, if I pitch a brand that only sells online, not many Bajans will be able to get their hands on that. So I only work with brands and I try new products and I post it on my Instagram and stuff. A lot of y'all message me, they're like, where did you get that from? And they say, oh, I got it online. And they're like, oh, see, like that really sucks. I want y'all to be able to get the stuff that I purchase and I talk about. Because pitching to brands that are sold in stores in Barbados is kind of a long shot, but you never know until you try. But yeah, let me know if you know any smaller brands that happen to be sold in stores. I don't know. Or any brands that you've been wanting to try and you want to see me try so you know if you want to try them or not you know just let me know and i'll try to work out something because i really want to work with a brand this summer i think that'll be really cool i've only done unpaid ones so far and i may have let me not say anything actually let me not say that because i said it last year and it didn't happen so i'm not gonna say anything about that okay let's move on to the second category which is organization and I'm really excited about this category. I want to declutter my wardrobe and my drawers. So last year, this is something I did. If you watch my productive day in my life or something like that from last year, last um, study leave. I put those on private though because they're really embarrassing videos. I didn't like how they were produced at all. But last year, I took some old clothes. Well, clothes, not old clothes, but clothes I didn't wear anymore from my wardrobe. And my mother went to the Salvation Army and she donated them. So I think I want to do that again this year just because they, I recently tried on a dress and I wore it out in public and it was so short when I sat down it was uncomfortably short and I forgot that it was so short because when you stand obviously things aren't as short <laughs> but stuff like that I really want to 
get rid of stuff that I just know I'm not gonna wear anymore. So I want to do that with my wardrobe especially, but I've also been thinking about doing that for my drawers. I also want to do this with my drawers, like where I keep my clothes that I typically wear home and my pants and stuff like that because I have a lot of pants like cake, not what I call them, what do you call those shorts? Three quarter pants. I have a lot of three quarter pants that I don't wear anymore. So I need to get rid of those because I'm sure somebody else in need could use them. Because they're by no means bad clothes. They can still work for someone. I just don't wear them anymore. So I feel like it's kind of wasteful for me to have them cluttering up my space. So I want to declutter those and get rid of them, take them to the Salvation Army. And I also want to go thrifting. My sister thinks that's weird, but I see videos of it in America all the time and it seems pretty cool. So I don't know if I'll do that or not, but we'll see. That's something like something fun to do though. Another thing I want to do is reorganize my bedroom. I reorganized this in December of last year, I'm pretty sure. So I have my bed in a different location. I got a, a hair product storage thing. <laughs> I got rid of my bedside tables. I put them in my wardrobe, so I need to take those downstairs to the guest room because they're just taking up space in my wardrobe right now. I also want to declutter my vanity because I feel like I have a lot of stuff up there that I don't really need. Like skincare products that don't work for me. There's an eyeshadow palette and I don't wear eyeshadow, so I don't even know why I bought it in the first place, but yeah. I just want to get rid of a lot of stuff that I don't need anymore. Simplify because I really don't like chaos. I really don't. I also want to declutter my bathroom because my countertop has a bunch of random stuff on it. it my sister and I, we share a bathroom, so we have the Jack and Jill sink. So it's one countertop and it's two different sinks on the countertop, if you know what I mean. And her side has a ton of stuff on it. She has a hair products and random stuff on it. So I want to, with her, get rid of all the stuff that we don't need anymore. We don't need most of it. I would say that 80% of the stuff we don't need, we don't use it, so I don't see the point of having it. So I want to go ahead and declutter the top of the counter. I want to get rid of my um, my empty hair product containers because I have them under my sink in this basket just to keep them in case I want to show them in a video or something, but I can just pop up a picture. I don't need to have the actual bottle with me and it just taking up space. Oh, look at cat. I have the attention span of a goldfish, I swear. I'm kidding. I also want to declutter my... Um, my desk and my shelves. If you watch my vlogs, did I do this in my vlog last year? I showed it in some, oh, I showed it in my vlog from Oyer's Day, Oyer's Night. In that video, I showed y'all me cleaning it up a little bit, but I didn't actually go ahead and declutter a whole lot. So I want to do that this summer. I do it the day before Oyer's and I do it during the summer. So yeah, I want to declutter, get rid of my stuff because I am almost done with secondary school. Like, Graduation is in a couple of weeks. Still haven't looked at a dress yet. But yes, yeah, so I can get rid of the papers and stuff from school. I'm gonna keep some stuff that I may need to use in university, but after that, it can all be gone. So I'm gonna have three shelves that I can just do whatever I want with. I'm gonna have it in a video, probably in one of my vlogs. I'm gonna do that because I feel like cleaning montages are really, really, really motivational. My desk is kind of a mess right now. And I'm probably going to clean it after I finish this video, but then when I do the organization and stuff, I'm really going to deep clean it and just dive straight in. So yeah. For my health category, I want to exercise five times a week. And that's what I do right now. I exercise every day from Monday to Friday. But I just want to have it on my goals list, so I keep doing it during the summer. I like having a routine, so I like that. That's what I do every morning. I wake up, read a devotion, and go straight to the gym. So... That works so i really like doing that and i've been actually enjoying working out recently and i found myself getting stronger like workouts i could never do before planks were the worst thing for me planks are so easy but i tried doing it once i didn't even last five seconds but no i can do like a 30 second plank and it can do longer, but that's just how long the workout tells me to do, but I can actually do longer than 30 seconds, which old me would never think that like i could never it got me feeling a lot better. I can see changes already. I guess I've also gone vegan, so that can probably help with it. I'd be eating healthier too. I didn't used to eat the worst things ever, but like I wasn't eating very consciously either. I want to drink three bottles of water daily, and if you know anything about me, you know drinking water is really hard for me. So I'm trying, I've been trying, and I will keep trying. 
to get better at it because you know I need to. Moving on to the self-care category, I want to have a pamper night once a week and by pamper night i just really mean doing my like, extravagant skincare routine i have two different skincare routines one that i do every night every morning and then one that goes a step further so i want to video coming by the way but i want to do that at least once a week maybe do my nails because i find that doing my nails is the only way like painting them is the only way that they don't break so I want to make sure they stay painted so I can grow them out a lot more. That's the plan. I also want to watch the sunrise at the beach. I think that'll be really cool. My family, I used to go to have breakfast at the beach at like 6 o'clock. So the sun was already up, but it was still pretty early. But I want to actually go to see the sunset. So somewhere on the east coast, I want to do that at least once. I think that's going to be really cool. I also want to make my own natural hair products. Because I've mentioned this a couple of times, but I'm trying to be more ingredient conscious. And I feel like the easiest way to do that is to make your own product. So I really want to experiment with that. So I've been experimenting with different... Well, I haven't really started yet, but I've been researching different ingredients and stuff like that. So hopefully videos are going to come if I perfect a recipe. Or I guess I should say a formula. I also want to have a day without social media. I've been using social media a lot less recently because I put it all into a folder on a completely different page on my phone called Time Wasters. So I haven't been going on as often. I don't have all my notifications or anything. So if somebody messages me, I don't get any notification and I don't know until I choose to go onto the app, which I love. I hate the pressure of having to respond to things that I don't really want to. Like social media pressure is the worst kind of pressure and it's really annoying. So I like that I turn off my notifications. I go on when I feel like and I don't when I don't feel like. Simple. Self-development. I really want to learn a song on the piano. If you didn't know, I used to play the piano for a couple of years. But I stopped maybe I'm 18. So maybe four years ago, maybe. I don't know. And just because I didn't, I'm saying that I didn't have time, but that's not true. I just didn't prioritize it. I didn't feel like playing it. I wanted to play it, but I didn't like people telling me what to do. Like I had to practice every night and I had to go to piano lessons every Sunday. Like I didn't like it. I didn't like that. I didn't like it. So now that it's on my own terms, I hope I'm going to like it more. I sound so stubborn. I don't like people telling me what to do. Yeah, I'm gonna learn to play a new song and I'm really excited because I actually really like playing the piano. I just didn't like piano lessons. So, yeah. <laughs> I also want to learn Photoshop and Illustrator because that's what I want to do with my life. That's not completely true. I don't want to do Illustrator and Photoshop for my life. I'm studying marketing at university. Along with marketing comes advertising and graphics and stuff like that. I love graphics so much. I'm gonna try to get my hands on those two pieces of software and I'm really excited because they look very very interesting especially Illustrator. I'm a vector of a pixel girl so I really want to learn Illustrator Photoshop is just because I feel it would be a good skill to have but mainly Illustrator. Okay y'all I just finished my hair. I didn't actually get to talk about everything on my list but I've been talking for a while so I know this video is going to be long and I don't want to bore y'all to death so yeah. Thank you for watching Crow Chat episode 4. If you want to see more Crow Chat videos let me know and let me know what I should talk about too because I have no idea. If you have any goals for this summer please let me know. I'd love to hear what you want to do. Plans, goals, events, all that fun stuff. You don't have to let me know the specifics. But I really want to know so let me know in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you for sure. But yes I'll talk to y'all in my next video. Bye everyone.